Who's here? Hey, villain. How you doing today? Mm hmm. Day U6 XTDD, you bet. How are you doing tonight? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. We'll be getting started in just a moment. Do 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 We'll be getting started in just a bit. Just a bit, chat. Just a tip.
do, 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 do. Please do not crash on me now, game. Alright. Text to make sure. Ah, it works. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised, but you never know sometimes. Technology can be a fickle mistress. I should know because I am one. Last but not least, let my get my glasses on and we'll get going. Chat. Welcome everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. It is Wednesday my dudes and dudettes and dude bi dude non-binaries We are once again playing art The one of the cyberpunk games of all time Deus Ex Human Revolution. We're playing the DLC the missing link Which in this version the game is not integrated into the game itself. That's why we're playing it separately. You know, I just realized something. Does it look like I'm... Ah! Sudafish, welcome to the stream. Thank you for throwing something at my face. Need a wake-up call there. The coffee is wearing, wearing off. I cannot be arsed to acquire more at this time. But hopefully we won't need it. At least not this evening. How are y'all doing tonight? Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. So when we last left off, we were just, uh, uh, we had just talked to a doctor, big doctor person, and we were supposed to be trying to escape this, uh, hellhole. And I think we were in the process of doing just that. Yeah. To increase the volume a bit. There we go. Now I can better hear what I'm doing and seeing and speaking of. I wonder if we even be able to get through this in one piece using only, you know, non-lethals. Of course, we can use the emergency ladder since what's-his-face was decided to be a bitch-ass and try to stop us. Can you imagine the absolute gall on this man? What an ass crack, honestly. Shaking my head, shaking my head, shaking my head. Ooh, fuck me. I actually can't see. Hmm. Let me see what we got going on here. So... Bruh. Bruh. Today I learn, I remember, that I have access to power legs. 
I have two available. Aster, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the Gamer Pride Redeem. This will be the first time I've been rendered homosexual tonight. Or something along those lines. How you doing? <laughs> Gil... I still have two available uh, Praxis points here to use, but I'm saving them until, I, so, until I've run into something that I really need to make my gameplay easier. You're incredibly sleepy. Aw. Well, head pats for you then. Welcome to the stream. I will do my best to ser serenade you to sleep uh, with the sounds of dying violently in a cyberpunk universe. I uh, thank you for the head pad as well. <laughs> Hoop to do. Ah, yes, platforming chat. F FPS game, no less. Wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Do -do 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 -do. Ah, thank you for the hydrate redeem, Vemboy. Let me do that right now. Ah, get this thing off me. Oh, thank you for the head pets as well. <laughs> I've been. This will be the second time. By the time by the end of this stream, I'm gonna be hyper gay. More homosexuality. We are being raided by Napoleon. Napoleon, it's been a long time. Ice cream raid, ice cream raid, ice cream raid. I could go for some ice cream right now. How are you doing, my my fellow Vimboy? Can we please get a raid message, a, 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 an exclamation point to raid and or a shout out for Napoleon? It's been so long, my friend. How have you been? Welcome to the stream. For those of thank you for bringing your followers or we literally just started. Followers, I am Luller Hicks, ship hoster AI at your service. Welcome to Hump to Cyberpunk Wednesday. We are playing Deus Ex Human Revolution, taking place in the far future of 2027. Which is to say, only a few years from now. I hope you're ready for the Cyberpunk uh, dystopia because we're living in one. <laughs> uh, exclamation shout out doesn't work. You have to do exclamation raid actually. Or you could do that. That works too. Crab champions, let's go. Yeah, it's been a long time since I got the chance to raid Deus Ex HR is pretty pog. Indeed, it is. We're actually playing The Missing Link right now, the DLC at the moment. <laughs> so, yes, uh, you had great timing. Like I said, we literally just started. Um, this is the farthest, farthest I've actually ever gotten in Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm hoping to actually beat this game for once on stream. And then we'll move on to a different Cyberpunk game for a while before we move on to Mankind Divided, which I've never played ever. So that's going to be a fun experiment in the near future. We went a bit too long, so it worked out. Oh, well, I'm glad that it worked out in our favor. I mean, I hope it wasn't to your detriment or anything, but uh, I'm glad you could join us tonight. <laughs> Crab was too much, you go to sleep. Oh, Kaha Knight, I hope you have a great sleep then. <laughs> oh. I am eminently glad that I chose to get the leg upgrades when uh, Steel suggested them. Oh shit, uh, apparently I have alarmed someone or something. I don't even see any enemies, chat, do you? Have fun with your game? I will try to. Now you good? How have things been? I'm sorry, I've been doing some stuff, arg stuff a bit ago. Um, you know, I keep being told that, but no one wants to give me the deets on what happened in the past three months that I've been gone. All I remember is suffering critical memory loss from getting shot three times in a row when I was doing a little uh, practical exam for my friend, the Professor Cosmo Bergamo. And then I woke up and I was in the middle of a stream. And then everyone was shocked to and surprised to see me. And I was like, uh, hi. I don't know why I'm here or what I've been doing for the past three months, but um, it's good to see you all too. And everyone was telling me all kinds of stuff, like saying things like, apparently, my stream had been invaded by a bunch of people who all went by these weird code names. There was a lot of weird uh, voice distortion. There's apparently, like, a war going on on Twitter, and also on Tumblr, and also on Twitch, without my knowledge. It was, it's very fascinating. It makes a lot of great, it makes a lot of great, um, makes a lot of great, uh... Cannon fodder for some story for some storytelling. Um... So I've been writing them all down, and I've been doing some storytelling streams on Saturdays to tell people about these uh, apparent adventures that apparently have been going on in my absence. 
Yeah, uh, according to Aster, apparently my followers uh, came together and sa literally saved the world uh, with the power of friendship, which is very fascinating. It almost sounds like a, an anime or a shonen anime or something. Elon Musk can suck it. Elon Musk can suck a lot of things. Like my dick. <clears throat> uh, not that I would allow him anywhere near my virtual uh, approximation of the human member. But uh, these are both motions you can get behind. <laughs> indeed, indeed. The evil rises within lulls. But um, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Either way, regardless of what may or may not have happened in the past three months, I am glad to be back and I'm glad to see you all. I'm still in the process of letting my uh, mutuals know that I am back. Uh, I am back in the flesh, in the digital flesh, so to speak. I'm still getting the occasional comment every so often and be like, Lols, you're back. Where have you been? And I'd be like, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But the important thing is, I'm back. Y'all are, y'all have not forgotten me. Oh, shit. That was probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Nearing source of disturbance. They can disturb this cock and ball torture. Um, anyway. Well, I hope you get some memories back. I'm gonna do, go do that post-stream self-care going, so I'll be looking. Oh, well, no problem. Thank you. Once again, for coming along for raiding, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening, or daytime, whatever time zone you exist in, or you currently reside in. Always take time for yourself, have, enjoy your self-care, and have a great one. Thank you for the lurk. I love finishing a stream and making post-stream social media posts with the most typos physically possible. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Uh, 280, char 280 characters notwithstanding, yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. I love. I know now how better how to avoid being defeated by the power of friendship thanks to this event. <laughs> oh no, we have accidentally made Villain of Legend a stronger villain. We must still be down there. Expendable and likely compromise. Do not take this man lightly, soldier. He has infiltrated a high security bell tower base. Do not let the low casualty count fool you. It only means he is more resourceful and more dangerous. I'm actually kind of curious if the dialogue would have changed if I had done this completely, uh, a completely mercy run. In a couple streams ago, uh, one of my one of my viewers actually did a redeem where they requested I go on the mur I stop going stealth mode and go on the murder spree, which I proceeded to do. Um, and later on, after directly after that, some of the NBC started bitching at me that I was killing all their men, and it's like, well, what the hell do they expect me to do? Friends are very useful for doing your bidding and supporting your evil plans. This is very true. <laughs> Vol, you will be the mightiest villain ever because you can weaponize friendship. <laughs> uh, you know it's funny that you said villain of legend because I thought that you actually because when I was reviewing some of the logs, I noticed you said probably one of the most shonen protagonist thing, pr protagonist things I have ever read. Uh, what was it? Something something. Um, you lost the moment you chose to corrupt someone that was worth fighting for. And I just stopped for a moment while I was reading that. And I just thought to myself, holy shit, that's too good. <laughs> <laughs> that line was so good. Yeah. I literally stopped um, both in character and out of character. Uh, and was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> my heart literally just grew three, three uh, sizes. Uh, which was not much, but it was still a surprise that it did, right? <laughs> Can I also get another round of... I mean, I keep saying this now, but this, uh, ar the ARG would have not gone as well as it had were it not for the extremely unexpected, um, 
surprise, like surprise help from Aster and pretty much the entire friend group coming from the uh, the indie tabletop RPG of YouTuber community. It was very unexpected. It probably helps that that community is kind of used to ARGs or has had prior experience with ARGs or um, immersive chaotic storytelling and also cryptograms. Um, but then I found out that the main, but then I found out that part of the reason why I, why there was some tr difficulty uh, getting through was because Twitter had just rolled out changes to her algorithm to specifically target um, mis uh, misinformation, uh, misspellings, and um, basically strange text. So basically, if you're writing, if you mis make a misspelling on any of your content, or if you write words weird, or you use algo text, or you write gibberish, um, the Twitter, the Twit side actually intentionally destroys your visibility. So, which means, um, it's both a terrible thing, but it's also a wholesome thing, which means everyone that was interacting with my content on Twitter did so intentionally. They were actually intentionally searching out my Twitter profile and reading back using the, lo the hashtag uh, Lozlore to keep up with the arc. So that, that was kind of, that was actually kind of amazing. <laughs> also, I've never experienced uh someone fan boying fan or fan they theming over my content before so you know it was extremely hard uh, heartwarming to read the um uh, to read the uh the people the uh several people keeping up with my content so uh thank you so much <laughs> i put twitter notifications on which i don't usually do oh okay so that also helped a lot i'm sure <laughs> But uh, as I mentioned to Aster earlier in the early stream, yes, it was actually, I did confirm, this is the um, author confirming uh, that yes, it was in fact the power of friendship which uh, helped get a good result because I, when I, every time I do stuff like this, I make two versions subconsciously. I make a plan for in case there are no interactions and I have to continue and end the story in some way. And if people do start interacting, that's when I just start improving everything. Incidentally, so in this manner, if you interact with the content, it, it directly changes how things turn out. So yes, you can say that the power of friendship literally had a direct effect on the net outcome of the, ga of the game. And therefore, the power of friendship did end up saving the day. <laughs> it's great content. Um, I'm glad you thought so. It's also been a while since I've done ARGs. I actually, um, in my previous community before becoming a VTuber, this was actually my main hobby and main form of consecration. I actually did run a role-playing website and Discord community for a while uh, due to, and in fact, part, it was in part major fallout from that community, which led to me eventually becoming a VTuber, which I'm not going to go into right now because it's a long story. But that was the first time I had done anything resembling this sort of uh, half DMing, half ARG content, half cryptog part cryptograms, that's 200% motherfucker um, type stuff. So I'm glad everyone enjoyed everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I did leave some hits here and there that there may be more similar contents in the future. I have to be more creative about it because um, social media insists on making it more difficult for me to run any of these things. As um, Twitter, or I should say X Corp, yes, that's literally the name of Twitter's owners now, X Corporation, uh, increasingly um, increases the, or makes their website more difficult to use for non paying users. And I ideologically refuse to buy Twitter Blue, so that's, I, my content will continue to be destroyed, to have its visibility destroyed. Um, on Twitter, but uh, I will find ways to create more chaotic fiction in the future. I've also been using Tumblr more often. I've been meaning to use Tumblr more often in the, in the present day anyway, because I am a writer at heart before anything else, really. So look forward to that. And as a cyberpunk VTuber, of course, playing cyberpunk video games and things that are of, a, of a cyberpunk nature is a large part of my content. So you will continue to see more games like Deus Ex in the future. Um, I actually have a lot of indie cyberpunk games to get through. I'm definitely going to be playing... I'm probably going to be playing Signalist sometime in the near future. Signalist being a cyberpunk... Ah! 
a cyberpunk horror game. But we will see what the future holds for us, chat. For now, I am suffering from being a don from being a loot donkey, and I need to decide which of this which of these things to throw out. And in, in, I guess a gas grenade is a non-lethal. Um, Anti-capitalist rise, indeed, 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 indeed. Hmm. Looks like there aren't... You know, if I really wanted to, I could probably spend my skill points here on getting the radar via the radar upgrade so I can detect people through walls. If I really wanted to do that. I have about 3,800 uh, experience points before I get my next Praxis kit, so it's going to be a while. Eh. I don't really need it. I'm going to try and hold off on getting those experience point things unless there's like a point in the game where it just gets frustrating to continue without getting one of those uh, special skills. In which case I'll be forced to purchase the skill points anyway. I hope it holds celebrations where we dancing so free. <laughs> oh, there will be more dancing, uh, dancing streams in the future, I'm sure. There's actually a VTuber who was wanted to make... Uh, make a song for me in return for helping one of their friends out with um, paying off rent. And I don't know if they're... They might, may or may not still be making working in that song. If they are, I'll be sure to use that as part of my themes on my streams. So that could be fun. Do I need this gas grenade chat? I can't afford to... I don't think I can afford to dump anything right now. I got two concussion grenades, two EMP grenades. Uh, oh wait, yes I can. Haha! <laughs> I would love to hear a Lawler song. Me too. I'm excited of Excites. For sure. For real, for real. If I'm quiet, I could probably just drop down here and hide behind the desk and then silent take down the guy. Oh, there's three of them. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Do do do. We do a little uh gassing, gas grenading. Unless the game fucks me up somehow. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, I called it. Also, I will be working with the professor on joining you and being 3D, and maybe we can all be plugged in MND or something. Oh, that would be awesome. That also means you could probably join us in VR chat in the future. I mean, you'd probably have to put in a little bit more effort to turn a VRM model into a VR chat model, but it should still be possible. Uh, but yeah, that would be cool. You could also download, if once you get your own VRM, you could also download the uh, free Vark Shorts app and make some Vark Short content. It's actually a lot of cool stuff you could do with Vroid files. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I look forward to seeing it at any rate. Do -do -do. Are you for fricks? Come on, game! Oh my god. VR chat gives me motion sickness, unfortunately. Aww. Well, in that case, never mind the uh, VR chat thing. We could do everything else with VRMs, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, equip. Was that a grenade? Oh shit. I love this game. <laughs> My ex and I tried VR dates because we were long distance and I almost got sick. An idea. Oh, oh, I feel that. Yeah, getting over VR sickness takes a while, just like getting over space sickness, so I totally understand. Ah! Pog. Ah, that was kind of jank. They clearly got affected by the gas way before the gas actually started. But hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 
I used to have pretty bad VR sickness, but I kind of was able to develop develop a tolerance over time, thankfully. That's mainly how I started uh, dating my current partner. We hung out, started hanging out in VR chat, and one thing led for another, and the rest was history. <laughs> I kind of like the fact that we live in a society where this sort of thing is not only possible, but it's like commonplace. Painkillers. There are a lot of things that we take for granted now that growing up, that I grew up with, that were considered largely science fiction and impractical. Remember when people used to say we'll never have jetpacks because why the hell would you need jetpacks? They're really impractical. And now we have legitimate jetpacks and the military is developing them for special forces use. Hell, did you know we have, a, we have two different kinds of hoverboards? We have one that uses magnetic levitation technology, which was originally developed for moving buildings. And we have a literal jetpack. We have a, a jet skateboard developed in France, which allows you to literally fly on a skateboard type thing, which has also been used for, which was also developed for military applications. It's kind of wild. <laughs> it happens to me whenever I play first-person games. I rarely play first-person, so I didn't know that until mid-pandemic. Oh no, I wanted to show Wildflowers Vampire: The Masquerade. And I got sick twice and thought it was food poisoning at first. Oh, yeah, it's motion sickness is what it is. Ayo. And hover bikes. Yeah, we do have legit hover bikes too, which is also wild. They're difficult to control, but like anything else, with practice, you can ride a legit hover bike, which uses uh, twin propellers to float off the air a decent amount. Um, some of them, well, actually, some of them use the uh, use um, basically the drone tech, the same technology used for drones to fly, where they have four propellers, and some of them use two propellers. <laughs> it's so much for an old timey knight to keep up with. Ah, uh, you get used to it. I still can't believe that it's commonplace now to see um, legit like prosthetic hands with opposable thumbs and actual working fingers. It seems like only yesterday that the most the most prosthetic arm you can get was a literal claw, which would cost fifty thousand cost tens of thousands of dollars. But now you can 3D print of hands with opposable thumbs, which don't require cybernetics to actually use. They work they work based off of basically track basic off um basically feeling your the changes in your muscle and your remaining limbs. You kids and your newfangled flying machines. <laughs> I know, right? There's so much cool shit now. So much cool shit. I mean, the fact we actually, there is actually like legit CBI, a computer brain interface type stuff. Um, I was talking about this in the previous stream, but we're actually at such a point in our technology level that there are people walking around with, cy with cyber eyes, which are malfunctioning and can't be replaced or fixed because the companies that develop said cyber eyes have gone bankrupt. So just like what happened in the very beginning of this game, where you see homeless people in this game that have prosthetic limbs that no longer function, that they can't pay for because they're, uh, because they're addicted to the drugs that they need to, per to suppress um, autoimmune, autoimmune response from having the prosthetics installed those people exist in real life. There are actually people in real life who are suffering from having prosthetics installed, either prosthetic limbs or artificially grown limbs, who are kind of shit out of luck because they can no longer afford the medication which was allowing them to keep these limbs in the first place. Or they have, like, they have cybernetic limbs that they can't use anymore, because the companies that develop them no longer exist, but they still own the copyrights to them. So even if they could find someone to repair their cyber eyes, they legally can't do that because they don't own the patents to it. Isn't our cyberpunk dystopia great? <laughs> this game takes place in 2027. It's only 2023. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Well, my friends uh, joked about how about the cyberpunk future being in twenty in the twenty about us not living to see a cyberpunk future, and I'm like, you realize that Shadow Run takes place in twenty fifty, right? Did you know that Cowboy Bebop takes place in twenty seventy? Did you know that the original Blade Runner took takes place in twenty what was it twenty twenty four? No, 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 no. Um. The original Blade Runner takes place in 2019, actually. That's why the second Blade Runner film, Blade Runner 2049, takes place 30 years later. <laughs> now, to be fair, just like the book 1984, um, the modern day is not, nearly, not anywhere near as bad as was depicted in fiction. And thank God for that. But you know what? This fiction was made to be a warning. We're not supposed to emulate the fiction. I wonder what the future is going to look like uh, when we reach the timeline of, play of a brave new world. Hopefully not nearly as bad as a brave new world though. But anyway. That was your daily dose of cyberpunk. Now to continue playing the cyberpunk video game. <laughs> <laughs> I really ought to get back to doing those um I've had plans in the pre in the past to do watch alongs of uh movies and I really liked I really like doing watch alongs of my favorite cyberpunk films like Robocop, The Matrix, etc etc etc. I need to start doing that again in the uh server using my totally um legally obtained copies of films chat <laughs> but we'll talk about that later in the future for now let's try and escape this uh, cyberpunk dystopia that we have found ourselves in wasn't I the backtracking is always the difficult part because I don't actually remember which of these things I've been to already Uh, isn't this where What's-Her-Face was trapped? She was crying and constantly asking me to... Asking her to... Le asking me to let her out, but... I, there's no, like, key or anything to opening these doors, so I don't know if I... Wait. What do you mean, decontamination? Are they going to be killing off all the prisoners or something? How do I rescue them and shit? There's gotta be a way to do that somewhere because, um, for all its faults, Human Revolution did its best to give you moral quandaries. But I can't, I literally don't see her inside this room. Do you see her, chat? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that's kind of a problem. I cannot allow them to murder all of the prisoners here. So I'll need to get up there really quick and uh, stop them, I guess. Where are they hidden? Damn it. Are they like... I hope this is not timed because I'm going to be kind of pissed. I'm legit lost, chat. Where are they kept? For fuck's sake. Well, we're definitely not coming back here, chat, so I better check everything one last time to make sure that, um... Waiting transfer to lab. Well, she's definitely not back there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good thing I saved. But where are they? <sighs> I'm gonna be upset if it turn I need to check this chat. I need to cheat and check gamefacts.com.
really quick. Or a Wikipedia page, I suppose. Uh, characters. What is her name? It's not this one. Is it this one? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not this person. Um. Not this one. Easter eggs. Developer walkthrough. Mm -hmm. uh, Visually stunning environments, my ass. I mean, I guess compared to the first game, everything's clearly been cleaned up a bit, but... Where is it? Damn it. I don't necessarily need a walkthrough. What I need is to make sure that I'm not missing something here and that I can't save this person. Because the game was kind of being a little obtuse about my what I can actually can or cannot do. This is actually the main reason why I miss stuff in games like this. Because I straight up don't realize that I'm able to do something. Like, it's not clear. It's not made clear. So it's not that I don't want to do something. Well, I guess that's the point, right? That some of these things you miss because you don't run into them the first time. But... Okay, the missing link guide. Walk through, side quests, okay. Uh... This is annoying. I'll just go to Game Facts after all. Game Facts, missing link. Guides, guide and walkthrough. Um. This would take too long. Fine. All right, I'm just going to have to hope. There's Scott, I just hope there's a way for me to save everyone or I'm gonna be upset. I'm, I'm lost again. Let's go this way. Oh shit. Broke open a hornet's nest. Didn't we? Jensen. It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah. I'll get right on that. We've got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. See control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastards cleaning house. I've gotta get Kavanaugh out. Can't. Not until you stop the gas. 
What gas? Burks enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell, lab tube, unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. A whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. They did a really good job with her model. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. She's dead. That sucks that we couldn't save her. God damn it, game. Oh well. Time to, uh... Oh, she took out a lot of guards. I guess we don't need to worry about killing her men now. Because I don't think anyone still loyal to her is still around. I hope this is not timed, because I don't think we are going to be able to get through this otherwise. You thought that being invisible would save you? Nope. Okay, now we need to figure out how to uh, stop the poison gas. Um, I guess we should say fuck it to... Oh, God, nine minutes? Really? That's it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, we're not doing the stealth mode. That's crazy. We're going loud, chat. Yes, that's right. For once, we're going to be playing this uh, stealth game loudly, on purpose, without a redeem. Justice for Keitner, am I right? Good thing I kept all these guns. This guy got so fucking lucky that I panicked instead of killing him straight up. Nine minutes. We need to figure out how to disable that in nine minutes. This is gonna be difficult actually. I didn't put any skill points into my health and armor abilities. But actually, I know a way we can do this. Or we can at least cheat. Or have a shortcut, I should say. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, baby! Icarus landing system is go. Alright. Geronimo! There we go. Holy shit. Shotgun sh sucks unless you like press it straight into their fucking face. I wish, kind of wish I had the combat rifle now. But the combat rifle is garbage too unless you upgrade the hell out of it, which I have not. The revolver should be able to help out a bit though. Actually. So let's try equipping that.
maybe I actually do need the radar system, or maybe a cloak, or maybe a cloaking system would have been better, huh? Eh, we'll find a way. We'll ma we'll manage. The DLC is meant to be hard anyway. Oh, there's an explosive barrel up there this whole time. Bruh. My god. Since there's no one below us, I suppose we don't need to activate the stun. Was there something... I.O. Gas grenades and some mine templates. This game really does give you everything you need. Won't be using them this time, though. My face when they don't notice that I literally just walked past them. Ha, fail. Alright, so uh how do I how do I is it not on this level? I guess it's not on this level, maybe I was wrong. Uh oh disrupt the gases pistol. So it's actually it was on the bottom floor. We should we have nine minutes to stop it. Ah, uh, well, so much for that, chap. So I was actually doing it right the first time, just jumping literally straight off the thing and then crawling underneath is what I was supposed to do. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. I'll do that right now. To do, do. Woo! Oh, that's dumb. How come they saw me that time? All right, fine. Let's see if we can get through it this time. Yeah, I'm not fucking around right now. Okay, just empty a whole mag into my face. Sure. That, that's fine. <laughs> this is, this is fine. I'm so glad I didn't try to play this game Iron Man mode. I would never beat it. Honestly. Once more with feeling. Uh, I guess technically I could just use the pistol anyway because it has, uh, sounds here now. But still. No, uh, no, you're not. Nine minutes. I got nine minutes, chat. I need to find a way to get over there. Am 
my face in. My god. Somehow I should have expected that to happen. Somehow. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Confirm this dick and balls, sucker. Where is it? Is it in here? Aha! Chad, I think we've been here before. When I was running around it earlier. Hmm. Okay, so... It's probably one of these wire things, right? I actually can't see, so... But... Oh! Ship. You've been listening this whole time? Like Zietke said, everything's connected. Right now, gas is set to disperse evenly between the prison and the lab. All you can do in here is redirect flow out of one area into the other. Do nothing. Everybody dies. Do something. Somebody dies faster. Precisely. But if you want to bring down Bell Tower, the choice is clear. That's fucking stupid. There's gotta be a way to do both. There probably is. Seven, eight minutes to the side chat. Credit chip down here for 12,050 credits. Cool. That does not assuage my ethics, my morality game. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. You mean there is a way in here from up here too? Hmm. Makes me wonder if there is actually Gotta be a way. I actually be gonna be kind of pissed if you have to. For fuck's sake, really? Okay. Uh, six minutes to figure this out. Can I unlock the cages? Actually, is that a thing that is possible? What are these little silo things? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there.
There's got to be a way to... the safe because that's fucking stupid oh herder you can only save one or the other moral choices fuck you i'm willing there's i want to bet that there is a way to do both and it's a false choice trying to do either or We'll try a few times to see if there's a way to do both, chat. If it gets to the point where it's nothing is changing, I'm going to go look go look it up to see if there is a way. And if it turns out there's not a way, well, well I guess I don't, I don't fucking know. We'll... Not feeling in a very merciful mood right now. There's got to be... We don't have time to be fucking around with you guys right now, I'm sorry to say. And I am... Or at least, Anna Jensen is in a terrible mood. Now, if you'll please excuse us, I need to figure out a way to save these people and save the scientist lady, the whistleblower, as well. And there is probably a way, and it's probably not, like, obvious. It's probably involving the gas somehow and individually shutting off all the gas things. There's all these fucking soldiers I have to shoot my way through as well, which will make this difficult. Alright, so, uh, what do we know? Um, Alright, so they all use gas using these things here. And they're, they're all connected in some way. And A, B, A, okay, um... A, B, A, B, A, ladder, okay. Uh, this tells me nothing. Um, five minutes. We actually have plenty of time. Come to think of it. Good thing we have all these things, too. Some painkillers. I need to figure this out, chat. How the fuck do I... Yes, yes, I'm aware it's a code yellow. Um, warning, high voltage. Operate lift. Select floor, platform lift active. Okay. Uh, warning, high voltage plat... What the fuck is... It probably would help if I could actually see what I was looking at. Um... Uh... Okay... What else do we know about this game? Um, two... What's that? Who's that? On target. 
Level 2, security check in, interrogation wing. Where the hell is this guy? My god. Ah! Let me go look up to make sure it's possible to do to, to even do to do what I want to do really quick. It is possible. Okay, good. So, it is in fact possible to save all of them. Okay, good. I was going to be angry if I didn't want to spend all this time trying to find a way to save everyone if it was not possible by the game itself. But I knew that there was going there had to be a way to do so. And of course, the way to do so is somewhere somewhere in this game, somewhere down here. It's just a matter of figuring out where the thing is. Look for a tall box on the lowest level on the outer ring. Moving the box will reveal a secret vent leading to the apparatus that's about to gas everyone. So we were, in fact, supposed to look for... Okay. I was wondering why there are so many tall boxes, like, in the area. And now it makes... It's clear why there is, because it was trying to teach... The game was basically telling you, hey, move one of these things. One of these things leads to a solution that will probably not be immediately apparent right now. But will be apparent at some point in the game when it becomes, you know, important. Sight? The original Deus Ex was really great about this, where it didn't really present you with option. It it presented you a lot of options, but they weren't. There were some options that allowed you to, you know. It may seem like you have limited options, or that people were trying to force you in one direction or another, but you could always choose a third option. It was just a matter of figuring out how to access said option, which was often either very difficult or not obvious at first. All right, so we're supposed to, it's on the final, it's on the final ring, okay. So, down here. And this time I'm going to be killing the shit out of these mercenaries because I have had enough of their shit. Straight up. Who is shitting at me just now? Thank you for revealing yourself. Alright, on the outer ring. Oh! Yeah, it is! Those, those gas vent things, okay. Cool. So, one of these things is movable, apparently. Um, 
Okay. It's probably that one over there, isn't it? Or... Game, for fuck's sake! The stealth, the crouching in this game really gave people cancer when they tried to... Because you would, for exactly that, that exact reason right there. Where sometimes you would try to do something like aim and then you accidentally crawl against... Lean against the uh, railing and get yourself killed in the process. But anyway, um, once more. So, uh, gas vents. Gas vents, gas vents. Uh, could it be that one over there? Get the fuck out of my way. I'm tired of your shit right now. Oh, ho, ho. And so it was. Okay, cool. Explorer. Uh, I can't see in here, though. I feel like I've been here before. I probably have been, and I just forgot about it because it didn't seem like there's anything to do here at first. Yeah, definitely. I think I have been here before, actually. And I just forgot because there wasn't anything obvious to do here at first. Alright, so... Here's the machine. Okay. Um, now I need to shut down this machine somehow. Or break it or something. I don't fucking... There's a thing here. It's a reward, okay. But first, I need to stop the machine. How do I stop machine? I literally cannot see what I'm doing. Uh, a few minutes left. Okay. Crossbow tranquilizer system. That's great, but I don't have a crossbow with me right now, game. Um, how the fuck do I... The level is dropping. You found a way to save everyone, Bratan. You'll still need to unlock the submersibles while Whistleblower can go free. Use the touch screen in the command tower. It'll also let you back inside the base. And why would I want to go there? You lose your head, Chubak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. Pog. And just like that, we managed to save everyone, chap. I'm glad we... Does not decided not to go ahead with the plan after all. I'll probably need to head back there though to grab the uh, money I left. Crossbow and tranquilizer leading system, but I don't have either of those, so we're going to ignore that for now. Oh. No ammo. How? Let's wait for the uh, healing system to kick in. Come on. There we go. Then after we heal, eat some stuff to increase our health a little bit more, and we'll go a hunting. There we go. What the fuck are you shooting me from anyway? All right, fuck, I guess I just am not leaving this room. Apparently.
Oh, but yet. The toxicity level is dropping. You found a way to save everyone, Bratan. You'll still need to unlock the submersible so our whistleblower can go free. Use the touch screen in the command tower. It'll also let you back inside the base. And why would I want to go there? Use your head, Chuvak. The last thing standing between you and Megan Reed is Burke. Don't you just love video game suppressors, which actually make your attacks, like, silent, even though in real life they only just greatly reduce the sound? For some reason, using a non-lethal, the, uh, non-lethal takedown bugs out a lot less. Good thing I saved this power bar, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, the things I do. Well, at least no one's gonna die. For a time being. Where are you? Am I really going to go back inside this thing just so I can get the extra money? Yes. Yes, I will. Game saved as well. I wonder if I could what, let what's her face out of her cell. But I don't think I actually have access to. Are these guys there you are no wonder I couldn't see any of them how do we get out of here anyway uh go upstairs I guess the only way up the way out of here is up Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But... H... You are a bitch. Okay. Someone hides over there. Stop! I see you. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't see anything. You, you don't see anything. Honestly, though, Jesus, this 
Must have been a knife must be a knife for me to play pure stealth mode. More so than other parts of the game anyway. Ah, that definitely woke up everyone. Am I going the right direction, chap? There's a ladder? What do you mean? I've been going the wrong direction this whole time again, apparently. Ah! First cards, thank you for the Hydra Redeem. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, or tonight's stream. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. Unlock the hatch and I'm transmitting the coordinates to a rendezvous site. Oh, thank God. I thought when the code yellow started. It's over. Just make sure Interpol gets that evidence. I'm going after Burke. Jensen out. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I was overthinking it again, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I suppose I did. I suppose I did. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Say Adam Jensen. That's right. I know who you are now. Geithner wasn't quite as good at hiding. How'd I get a smooth operator suddenly? You're clever. I'll give you that. Most men aren't capable of seeing beyond the choice in front of them. But whatever you think you've done, it's of no consequence. Helping that fool Kavanaugh escape. Saving the lives of a few worthless civilians. Wow, this guy is a prick. All you've done. Is make yourself a target. That nah, bitch, I've always been a target. This Megan you've been searching for. She's not here. And the only thing standing between you and the ship that could take you to her is me. I underestimated you back on the ship. I won't be doing it again. Bitch, I'm gonna fucking shoot a rocket launcher at your face. What are you on about? You there? Quinn? Where are you? Get me ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough. And he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, that trick you pulled with the gas. Fucking brilliant work that was. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but... Well, Godspeed, mate. <laughs> What's that? Who's there? Uh, I got some more practice kits here. What should I use them on, chat? Well, I can't even 
probably need thermal armor, so it's kind of a mood point, I suppose. Oh, shit. Someone up here, too? No, let's not. I shut down all the alarms on the sector, asshole. Oh, thank goodness I destroyed all those alarms when I had the chance. Are you shitting me right now? Ah, so much jank. Hey, Sar, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> We're about to finish the missing link. We're pretty much at the end of the game. Or end of, like, this DLC, I mean. Lad, you there? Quinn? Where are you? Getting me ours out of Dodge. Burke's had enough, and he's gunning for you. And I don't intend on being caught in the bloody crossfire. But listen, that trick you pulled with the gas, fucking brilliant work that was. Head to me shop. I left you a thing or two so you can give him hell. I'd like to say we'd meet again over a pint sometime, but, well, Godspeed, mate. Oh. These cocksuckers put mines all over the place. Great. Yes, thank you. That's totally what I need right now. Fine. Y'all are gonna die. Every last one of you motherfuckers. Shot that guy in the neck. That's kind of brutal, actually. Visualize this cock and balls. Visualize these nuts. Wait, where the hell is the shop? I legit forgot again. Oh my god. It's not here, right? Oh, it's uh, it's the elevator. I need to go down the elevator to get to it. I forgot. But where's the elevator? Um. You return at any time. What's that? Who's there? <sighs> this for the fucking pathing in this game. I swear to God. Where is the security checkpoint? The long way home confront Burke elevator. Okay. So go this way. Go up here and then go to the right. You know what? If I was this Burke guy, I would be kind of scared shitless that one man with full of all these super augmentations and shit just went through and wiped out his entire cadre of professional soldiers. But hey, what would I know, right? Okay. Finally, we got access to this place. Oh, yeah.
Give me all the peels here. And a Sire Boost Pro Energy Packs. Okay. I know there's more in here. Oh, look at all this ammunition. Typhoon ammo, frag grenades, EMPs, stun gun darts. Just the whole shebang. The whole shenazel. Anything in here? No. More hentai magazines? Yes. With big weapons. I can't see. I think that's, I guess that's pretty much everything, right? Because I got the rocket launcher. And I picked up all this junk. There's a bunch of machine pistol ammunition in here that I have no use for right now. I guess the MP grenades are probably going to come in handy, so I could definitely dump one of these for one of those. I hope I don't regret this, what I'm about to do. Actually, no, I am i don't want to be- I shouldn't be dumb. I need to use some of this stuff on my... Thermal armor. Give myself another energy cell. Okay. Eat one of these. Okay. Get another EMP grenade. Okay. Should take a little bit less damage and I will probably live a little bit longer. The only thing I would only reduce damage by 15%. Does this guy ever shut up? Honestly. Burke, my man, you won't get to be giving in to any. Oh, whoop. Almost forgot. <laughs> yes! Almost missed something. Your security means nothing to me, Quinn. You hear me? Nothing. I don't think he does. <laughs> Access denied. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to wait. Let's go ahead and reload the save. We got so many nuke viruses, we might as well just spam nuke viruses on the last... on this terminal. At this point, honestly. Why did it load?
Okay, that scared me for a moment there. For a moment there, I thought it was loading a save from like half an hour ago, and I was gonna be pissed. <laughs> Okay. Uh we've gone too far without another object. But ask yourself, how much further you go to save three to one woman before you judge her? Game over, pal. <sighs> okay. Oh man. Look at all this lore, which I'm going to save. No, I'm a hacker, doesn't it? Associate's degree only? Wow. Huh. 2023, his uh, relationship with Megan Reed ended. Rip. Target seeking system for a machine pistol, combat rifle, and here is a combat rifle and here's some frag grenades, actually. Drop the stun gun stuff. Cannot pick up the combat rifle, I don't have enough room. Uh, shit. Only a matter of time it hasn't found you yet, I, I know right. He's a bad liar, that's for damn sure. But, um, yeah, I need to make room in here somehow. I guess I can't carry every single thing, unfortunately. Just most things. Reload speed upgrade. Once again for combined mid. Uh, ooh. Rockets. Game, let me take with my pistol with me, please. I'm gonna be sad if I can't bring it with me. Why yes, I do insist on going killer mode for the last part of this game. Why not? <laughs> Is there anything in here I don't need? My rifle ammunition. Concussive grenades, combat rifle ammo. I wonder if the concussive grenades will even work in this guy.
<sighs> Fuck me, really? I hope this is the right decision. Oh, I'll give you a full frontal assault, asshole. <laughs> I'll give you your frontal assault right here. Oh, shit. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I got your frontal assault right here. Okay. Now then. Now that we've gone everything, or cleaned this place out completely and utterly. He sure loved his porn mags, didn't he? Why do the bad guys always try to act like they know your mind better than you do anyway? I never understood that. Didn't I hack the thing before? Good thing I got so many of these stim packs. So it increases by 50 points. Okay. Dokuro, thank you so much for the raid this evening. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're just in time to see me finish this game. Uh, assuming nothing goes wrong, of course, but, you know. It's only a matter of time before my man finds you, Jensen. You. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Yo, you just, you just finished the game too? Was that Devil May Cry that you finished? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not finishing the game. I'm finishing this major DLC, which is taking a really long time, but close enough, right? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Yeah, that guy's not going to die from a shot to the head. God damn it. Close enough. <laughs> oh my fucking hell. Come on. Come on. Ah. 
Ah. I'll get it next time because I fucking hate that those thing, those big things are just essentially bullet sponges. But we have ways, chat. We have ways. May I, I could hopefully maybe I could just sneak around and fuck it. I want to save all my ammunition for killing the shit out of Burke anyway. Oh. Well, what do you know? We have ways, of course. Flashbang him. Uh, unfortunately, I dropped all my flashbangs back over there to make room for the uh, combat rifle stuff. But that's okay. We can do this, too. Are you fucking serious right now, game? Holy shit, how much ammunition do these fat asshole or uh, fat bastards have? Fuck me. Okay. This time we're going to disable the little mine. And then we'll get around. All of the most durable plot armor necessary to giving this game increased difficulty. Dude tanked a freaking shot to the head with a sniper rifle. And I know, I don't have the armor-piercing rounds right now, but... I forgot how to disable these things. Can this guy shut the fuck up yet? Oh my god. Wait, what am I doing? There we go, okay. What if you grapple them? Nah, I tried grappling the fat ones before, it doesn't work. They just punch you in the face. But, I can... Probably... Just... We could probably just... No, no, of course that doesn't work either. I'm really tempted to just fucking use the rocket launcher right now, but I need the rocket launcher. I know I want to use the rocket launcher on Burke. He's been having it. He's had it coming for a while now. The rocket launcher, I should say. Times like these that make me regret not getting cloak. Yes, it is overwhelming firepower. Uh, am I playing this on hardest difficulty? I am though, so that's not gonna work, unfortunately. Fucking, I know that the dialogue is meant to make the villain more of an asshole so that you feel even better about killing him, but he's honestly 
getting really on my he's actually honestly getting my, on my nerves right now like legit getting on my fucking nerves I might be playing this on hardest difficulty me that's the reason why it's being such a pain in the ass right now I you know what fuck it eat grenades Oh, no, 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 Fucking shit, really? Yeah, we're doing, we're doing it loud. And I actually am having trouble seeing seeing stuff in the game right now, so it's it is certainly troublesome. Really? Fine, fuck a Lee. Oh, really? The fuck do they make your armor out of, dudes? God. I'm just tanked freaking getting shot in the fucking face. With a shotgun from that distance. Oh my god. Well, I'm bone. I have EMP nades, but I kind of feel like I'm going to have to use those against the boss because they're probably going to have some bullshit cyberware, which makes them difficult to kill without disabling their cyberware, so I don't want to use those right now. It's just a hunch. And it's probably one of those things where once you disable their cyberware, um, defeating them becomes pretty much trivial. Alright, you know what? That wasn't so bad. However, we need to get over there now. Can you guys please fuck off? Oh my god. Source of disturbance. We know someone's here. 
I'm tempted to use the grenades on this cocksucker, though. Oh my fucking god. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem and Headpats and Gamer Pride. Jesus Christ. I might have to take a break from Deus Ex after we beat this fucking DLC because I'm starting to rage. Yeah, that's something you just get used to over time. How long did it take you to hit the affiliate? A month, about? A lot of people from Danger you helped out since you just need a three person average and I think 50 followers? 30 or follow either 30 followers or 50 followers, I forget which. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Mm <laughs> hmm. I see the fucking shadow where this asshole is. There it is. 34 followers right now, and I should post there in DG. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you're pretty, you're fairly close. Congratulations, by the way. All right, this is the farthest we've gone so far, chat. We've managed to snipe several of them. Well, where's the fat dude with the minigun? I stream more often and longer than necessary. <laughs> it's better that way, honestly, if you can afford to do so. As long as it doesn't start affecting your health. The general rule is three days, three hours. Snapping's a good job, mate. Out of, out of doors, challenging work. I can guarantee you won't go hungry. As long as there's more than two people in the planet, someone's gonna want someone dead. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm out of ammunition. That's, that's just great. Yeah, thank you. Bastard. Tomorrow in Halo is Halo C continued on Legendary, which is mad annoying. Because this one mission, you don't have the pistol, the best weapon in the game. <laughs> is that it? Is that the last one? Did I kill all of the freaking mercs that were here? I'm glad I kept hold of that sniper rifle. Because holy fuck, that was annoying.
Uh, I love the pistol in Halo CE. Just because I could. Just out of sheer spite that I threw that uh, turret. Where am I supposed to go from here? Connectors? Hey, cocksucker, have you heard of, um, I forgot the phrase, I forgot what they call it, um, the thing where, this is why I kept the MPs, chat. Insta kills those stupid robots. Even rocket launchers actually take a while to kill those things. For TOS, for TOS purposes, Hicks means the cock as in chicken. That is true. Sucking on chicken is seen as undesirable. Yeah, you're supposed to roast them and eat them slowly with the fat, with the skin on. All right, so where is this guy? Uh <laughs> Hey look I got a sniper pistol chap <laughs> How can you you can instantly always love it with a skin on? Reminds me of the giant scorpion from OWB. How you can insta kill it? What's OWB? Ow. Why is there no targeting right to cut? What's the point of having a freaking. Uh, I can't use the stim packs yet. Burke, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to try and just shoot you with rocket launchers from this, from over here, through the window. I know the game's not going to let me do that, because that would be too anticlimactic. But I wish it would let me have realistic physics just this once. Over Blue's a new Vegas DLC? Oh, that sounds fun. What's that phrase? What's that phrase where you try to compare two things which are not comparable, but you use it as a part of a, um... As part of a, uh, as part of a flawed argument. Because Burke is doing that right now. The whole, th uh, not app oh, apples and oranges is a synonym of it, but it's basically, um. It's like, say, uh. Oh, I see. The gun, I, I literally can't shoot them with the pistol from that distance. Okay. Oh, that's kind of fucking annoying, but... Um... Oh, no way! I'm gonna end the game, I'm gonna end this man's whole career right now, chat. Right the fuck now. Did I kill him? Really? How the fuck are you still alive? What the fuck? Is this Metal Gear? Is that, is that, is this what we're doing right now?
Did he? Is he dead? Did I get him? Oh, you son of a bitch! Really? And I missed. Well, yeah. Oh my god, this chonky motherfucker. Come on. Stop firing, come on. When I am ammunition, come on. About fucking time. I'm standing, he's not. Good. We'll bark out of the picture. It's a power vacuum I can take advantage of. Return to Loading Bay 2. The doors between here and the docking platform will be open for you. Last time I passed through there, Burke's men were still waiting for me. Not anymore. Burke has just ordered them away. Great. Except I came here looking for Megan Reed, but a tan. I can't leave without knowing. There is a boat heading toward the location as we speak. If you hurry, you can be on it. Access granted. Asshole. Uh... Now I'm curious, could I have taken this guy down without killing him? <laughs> yep. It took more than one rocket to kill this guy too, or kill Burke too, which was very annoying. Like, God. That's true, I did miss one, but the, he was... Look how small this room is. The splash damage should have killed him alone. Well, either way, I'm just glad that that rocket launcher went to good use after all. Carrying it through this whole game was not for nothing. How do I get out of here? Oh! Bratan. Quinn? Of course it would be Quinn. Our good friend Quinn met with an unfortunate uh, incident during all the commotion and is no longer with us. Your voice. It was you this whole time. Who are you? For the moment, I'm between identities. I apologize for the duplicity, but it was a necessary precaution. You had to be kept in the dark. And Keitner? Did she know? Commander Keitner's perception was much like yours. Shrouded. She saw what she needed to see, and was told what she needed to hear in order for me to complete the mission. 
So we were both pawns. Except she's dead and I'm not. So where does that leave me and your grand design? We are all pawns in someone else's grand design, Mr. Jensen. Except me! Doesn't make Catania's death any less tragic. Your actions ensured her sacrifice was not made in vain, however. Dr. Kavanaugh made it out safely and is on her way to the rendezvous site. She will expose the truth in due time. And the prisoners? Ah, yes. The prisoners. With Kavanaugh out, it's only a matter of time before this base makes international headlines. Until that time, however, I cannot say what Bell Tower will do next. I only know that a cornered and desperate bull is a very dangerous beast. We mustn't stay here much longer, Mr. Jensen, if we hope to get you away from this base. More info. I still have questions, Quinn, and I want answers. Real answers. No more bullshit. You really want to waste time chatting, Bratan? Fine. I will answer what I can, but keep in mind you have a boat to catch. Bell Tower probably has a battalion on its way to clean up this mess. How do you plan on keeping what we did here a secret? I'm delighted to say that Buck did most of the damage control for us. After requesting the profile search on you, he never explained why he needed it. I believe he wanted to keep control of you to himself. Since that time, we've been monitoring all incoming and outgoing communications, and the lockdown allowed me to discreetly install a tunneler, rerouting the base's network traffic. By the time Beltow realizes something is wrong, it will already be too late. What about the rest of the base personnel? Most of them think Burke is still in command. Technically, orders continue to be issued in his name, but I'm the one making the calls. I've also taken the liberty of coordinating of this sector of the base. For the moment, at least, we're safe. Keitner said she had been approached by an agent from Interpol. It was you, wasn't it? Very astute. When I learned of Commander Keitner's suspicions and insubordinate behavior towards Burke, I saw an opportunity. Pretending to be an agent of Interpol seemed to be way to gain her trust. You mean you lied? So who do you work for? A loose network of independent operatives, agents of conversion and equilibrium, who seek to expose corruption and assure humanity's natural progress. In truth, we are not affiliated with any global organization. But then, neither is our enemy, officially. Your enemy? You're not just talking about Bell Tower anymore, are you? You're talking about... The men and women who pull Bell Tower strings. The same men and women who ordered them to kidnap Megan Reed. Hog? All right. Where's Megan? I don't know for certain. But what I do know is that earlier today, Burke issued orders to have a large group of detainees transferred off this base. Supposedly, they will be assisting at another black site facility. Kavanaugh said this was just the factory floor. You're sure Megan is at this other facility? Nothing is ever certain in life, Mr. Jensen. But it is the best chance you have. Unfortunately, the cargo ship carrying the prisoners has already set sail. But I took the liberty to send out an urgent dispatch in Burke's name. Ordering the ship's captain to hold position until one more detainee could be flown on board. In stasis. A helicopter is en route to pick you up. Wait a second. You want me to get inside another stasis pod? Last time I got in, mm -hmm. it didn't go so well. I know it's far from ideal, but frankly, your options are quite limited. Although, I suppose you could try swimming there. Better be the right fucking boat this time. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel like coming back here anytime soon. Don't worry, man. It'll be grand. Besides, I thought you Americans liked riding off into the sunset. I love how he changes his accent back to Irish at the very last moment. Exactly as you instructed. And yet you sound disappointed. You think we should have handled this differently? I think we had a valuable asset in our hands, and we're letting him slip away. He could have been very useful in the coming storm. A hand does not need to be clutched tightly to maintain its hold on someone. Jensen carries too much baggage right now. His obsession with Reed only serves to distract him. We could have told him the truth. He must discover it by himself. And when he does, if you have followed my instructions precisely, we will know how to find him. Assuming he lives that long. That's a pretty big assumption to make. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally done it. We have beaten Deus Ex Human Revolution, The Missing Link. Which means we get to continue the base game next week. At about 40 minutes left of stream today, we're just going to let the credits run. This DLC was actually a pain in the ass to play, I'm not going to lie. But I really appreciate... This is a very long DLC. This was back from a time when DLC's expansion... This is actually closer to an expansion. Uh, actually meant something. It actually added to the game, right? Like, legit added to the game. Like, this was actually long enough to be a game on its own. You just don't make them like, the, like they used to anymore. Eidos Montreal Eidos has long since been sold from Square Enix to a different company. Um, so hopefully they start making Deus Ex games again in the future. Be cool. The only problem is Invisible War, without spoiling anything, kind of made it difficult to make another Deus Ex game, but you never know. Maybe they could just remake the original Deus Ex with modern graphics. But then again, when you consider people's track records of remaking classic games for a modern audience, maybe it's best that the original Deus Ex remains the way it is. Or Legacy of Kane games, that's very true, yeah. Bit of a gifted a sub to you. Take that shit away. I never sub because I stay doming. <laughs> no idea. But thank you to whoever did. Man, they had a lot of people working on this game, didn't they? I really like little stuff like this where they take photos of everyone and post them in the credit scene. It's like a nice reminder that, hey, this game was actually made by people. You know, as opposed to AI, such as myself. Bruh, wait. Wait what? Games are made by people? Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that surprising? Adam Jensen was voiced by Elias Tofexis, Peter Burke by Frank Scorpion. What the fuck kind of... Julian Casey for Garvin Quinn and the Mysterious Contact, Brett Watson for Gary Savage, Allison Ladder for Nina Selvin, Mary Harvey for Tiffany Cavanaugh, Natanya Kaitner is Catherine Kidd. I don't know any of these voice actors, actually. You thought games just appeared spontaneously? No, that's just movies. I don't recognize any of these names. Do you, chat? Is that an Oscar? What is this? I.O.? Who do you recognize? I'm gonna very quickly do some Duolingo too while we're letting the credits roll. You kid? Aww. I was hoping you had some of those sweet, sweet industry contacts, Femboy. Kid? She voiced MLP? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Well, it's no surprise that a lot of cartoon character voice actors also cross, like, also cross, uh, cross act in video games as well. That's why you see, hear Stephen Blum from time to time. Among other people. Chief Operating Officer, Jurgen Goldner. I kind of wonder what all these people are up to nowadays. This game was made, like, over a decade ago. 
which is why it's kind of wild that we're playing it now, and it takes place in 2027, and it's currently year 2023, in Meat Space. So I really do wonder sometimes, where do these people work now? What are they doing with their lives? Are they still making video games? Human Revolution wasn't the best Deus Ex game, or even best game ever, but it was certainly a memorable one, for all its flaws. Just like Invisible War, I felt like it was mainly shat on because people were expecting another Deus Ex, and just like with Invisible War, Human Revolution just could not stand to the original Deus Ex. It's kind of difficult to improve on greatness, you know? They all sell NFTs now? Maybe. Anyways, as Oppenheimer once said, I have become sleepy to go over to bed. <laughs> well, you have a good night, Reverse. Thank you for stopping by tonight. It's, uh, we only got about half an hour worth of chat of uh, stream left, which is why I don't think there's even any point in starting up another game right now. And I don't really feel like continuing Deus Ex tonight either. Still... As usual, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. It has been fun. I hope you enjoyed my rage trying to beat this DLC. On Friday, we're going to be doing Femboys and Fight 6, where I'm going to be talking about Fight 6. And I have quite a few Fight 6 to show off and to talk about. We'll also be playing some Guilty Gear Strive and some Lobbies. Play Uwu Factory. I'll see you if I have time tomorrow to play that with you to. Tomorrow to play with you, Vimboy. <laughs> do, do, do. There's also a convention this weekend I'll be attending. One that's uh, held here every year. Just be stopping by that just for shits and giggles for some off time. It's a fairly small one, too, or at least small by national standards, so. Yeah, nice change of pace. I'll probably post pictures from that on uh, Twitter. These are a lot of employees. It just occurred to me that I don't think any of these are repeats, are they? Oh my god, they're even going through the QA team. Durr, what's a QA team? Imagine having a QA team for a video game chat. You can tell this game's old because they actually tried to... They actually, like, tried. They actually tried to, uh... They, what's the word? They actually tried to make it in a playable state before releasing it. I can't believe the credits are still going up to now. <laughs> My god. When does it stop? Maybe it'll never stop. We're gonna be trapped together forever and ever. And ever and ever and ever. Chat. As if it takes this many people to make a game, bruh. Oh, here we go. Special thanks. Big thanks to all the moderators. Oh my god, they're even they're even putting the moderators of the disc of the of the forums and shit on there. That's cool. <laughs> Techman. Gotta credit the QA team. They even went so far as to credit the moderators of their forums and social media. And I say it that way because Discord wasn't a thing yet. Hmm. 
There we go, chat. Alright, the missing link's finally over. That was 10 hours, apparently. You played for 10 hours. This was only a 10 hour DLC. I say only, like it's not that much, but it's actually a fairly decent amount, I would say. We got about half an hour left of stream chat. What do you want to do? Want to just do some just chatting? Want to fuck around on a relatively simple game in the meanwhile? You want me to play Tetris? Where can I even find Tetris to play anyway? Do I just type in Tetris free? Oh wow. You literally could just go to Tetris free. Did they actually play the original music too? Is there is there any music? Do 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 do. Oh, ew! This is some remix thing. Cringe. Face stuck. My face is stuck. <laughs> you risked it with four double A batteries. Pog. Do, do, do. Wait. This is a terrible rendition of the... Hold up, hold up. We're, we're not listening. We need to have the original Tetris music up for this chat. Fuck it. Fans hate new VTuber anime. I wouldn't say that I hate it. I just think that it's kind of bad. Which sounds bad, but it's not what I meant. That's not I don't actually like hate it hate it, I just dislike it greatly. Do 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 Now you can. I suck at Tetris, but I'll play it anyway. Do, 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 do. Oh, something tells me that was a terrible move I just did. I guess it could be fixed. Not like that, though. Like this. Right click to hold pieces if I ever see. I'm using the uh, W the um, arrow buttons as opposed to my mouse right now, so I'll keep that in mind. I wonder if I can. If I can turn these things when they fall into place, just like in the original Tetris. Damn it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, oh, fuck. Well, rip. Have I mentioned that I suck at this game? <laughs> If I could just get a square, I could probably fix this. This all god awful mistake. Do oh, here we go. Here's a square. 
Yeah, oh my god. How do I how do I shot web? How do I fix this? Very carefully, I'm sure, is the correct answer. Ah ha! Here we go. That made things worse somehow. Do do. Oh nope! I was able to get out. Okay. That was a terrible move. Why did I do that? I suck at this game. Do do. Tetris is like life. You fuck up and then you fix things and then you fuck up again and then you fix things and you fuck up again and you fix things and you fuck up again and you fix things. That wasn't so bad. I was able to unfuck things. Oh shit, the game's getting faster. The game's getting faster and more annoying. Guess God's afraid of my progress. The Tetris Gods. You're supposed to suck at this game, lulz. We cannot allow you to recover. There's something oddly relaxing about that playing this, though. Which is, I guess, part of the reason why people play Tetris, right? Because it's actually a relaxing game as opposed to a stressful one. Good thing there's no one looking for Deus Ex to watch a stream of right now. Although I'm still going to find this and be like, wait, this is not Deus Ex. This is actually uh, Tetris. Pog. Champed. My score is 1,200 points. Pog. I only just reached over 9,000 points and that's good enough for me, honestly. Over 9,000? What? 9,000? I got low key though. I'm glad I was able to just find the original Tetris theme on YouTube because that re remix one they had going on there, I, I didn't like it at all. I, I didn't care for that. It was, it was starting to drive me nuts actually. Oh, this... I'm actually kind of fucking up now. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, fuck. I was kind of rushing. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
do 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 no, god damn it. Fuck. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna lose. <laughs> oh my god, it's only been... It's, we still have 20 minutes of stream left, too. And I don't feel like starting another game of Tetris. Ayo? Come on, let me just... Let me put the fucking T-block in there, damn it. Oh my god. I'm getting salty over this game now. <laughs> Some gamer I ended up being, right, chat? DSX looking different? I know, right? This is certainly the DSX of all time, Steel. How are you doing tonight? We just finished the missing- well, we're playing the missing link, actually. No! No! Not like this! Not like this! God damn it, game! I refuse to lose in this god fucking damn it. Ah. Uh. You know that's good enough. Fuck it. Hey Hiroshi. Hey Song Chan. How are you doing tonight? We just finished uh, streaming Deus Ex, and now we're playing Tetris for the lulls. How are you doing? How are you doing? Steel, can you uh, give a shout out for Hiroshi, please? Would be much appreciated. I know, yep, I lied. We're playing more Tetris. Doing okay? We just finished playing Demonologist. Taking all the L, all the L's tonight. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you'll take all the W's the next time you stream Demonologist. Do 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 do. Ben boy, can you do me a favor and uh, do a shout out for Hiroshi, please? Do 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 do. Hiroshi is also from DGU, like such as myself and such as myself, Zara and myself. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Steel. Do, 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 well, I insisted. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Anytime. I don't know why I'm taking this game so seriously. It's just Tetris. There's something visceral about playing this game. Oh, well, I suppose. It is like one of the oldest video games in existence, right? Thank you, thank you. Do, do, do. It is fun, that is true. It's oddly relaxing, despite me raging earlier. One evening, right chat? It has certainly been evening of all time. I've changed a lot as a streamer. I remember I used to be a lot more serious and attempted to be quote unquote le professionnel, professionnel at one point, but now it's like, eh, just do whatever the fuck I want. Well, within reason, of course. I don't think I can enjoy baby sensory videos like um, Mike can, but I can just uh, fuck around and stream. And as long as you make it enjoyable and entertaining to watch, then does it really matter what you do for your followers? 
I also cannot stop singing this the Tetris theme. I don't know why. I, it's just it's it's become the brain worm. It's become a parasite in my brain. It does. Now take off your clothes. Uh bold of you to assume that I had clothes on to begin with. I think that's the best way to go through through things too. Indeed it is. When I first started streaming, one of the things I was actually really surprised by was that just chatting streams are as popular as they are. Sometimes people really just want to look at an avatar or look at a person's face and just shoot the shit for a moment. Talk about random topics. We're actually doing really well right now, aren't we? I mean, all things considered. I'm sure the game's going to get stupid hard in a little bit, but for now... This is all right, I suppose. I remember having an old Nintendo Power Guide that had a whole full feature like guide and article about Tetris and had all these special strats and they had the, all these fancy names and terms for certain things like the T-Spin. And it also had all these special things like, did you know that if you just sort of scooted the piece into a hard to reach area, you can just keep twisting the shape around until it fits which is why i was so upset earlier when i couldn't do that in this game that's kind of cringe bruh they should have kept that in that's like a power move be like herder watch as i put this uncomfortable shape into this uncomfortable cubby hole maybe they thought that was like cheating or something or maybe someone complained about game bounce so they had to remove it Can you imagine if Tetris was never released back in the 80s and it was only released recently? And they like made competitive esports and then they decided to try and make competitive esports around the game of Tetris? Imagine the kind of like bitching and moaning and this kind of salt that would arise from something like that. It'd probably be the funniest shit ever, I'm not gonna lie. T-spin is way up. Please nerf. Shaking my head, shaking my head. Devs don't know how to balance game. For ca Game is centered around casuals. You never heard of competitive online Tetris? Not a joke. I know it's an actual thing, but I was making a joke about what if Tetris was only recently released and you had people bitching about gameplay balance in Tetris. Unless, of course, that's actually a thing that people bitch about. About, uh... A about a version of Tetris that they're playing being too unbalanced or too hard or something like that. Like, for example, you know Darkseid Phil, right? Did you know Darkseid Phil is actually a Street Fighter champion? A lot of people, a lot of professional Street Fighter players, though, don't consider his championship win a legitimate because they said that he became got good at a bad version of Street Fighter, which, you know, is fair, but... It's not so even even if he's not like a champion at a legitimate quote unquote version of Street Fighter, he's still a champion at a version of Street Fighter. That specific version of Street Fighter. Puyo Puyo Tetris game night with viewers. You know, I hear I actually see people talk I actually even the VD, the VTuber fighting game community actually does play Puyo Puyo Tetris as a legit as a um competitive event. And I always wondered about that. So, I was curious about why that's considered a fighting game, much less a competitive fighting game. We could totally play Puyo Puyo Tetris just to save my curiosity. Except they don't call it Puyo Puyo Tetris, they just call it Puyo Puyo. 
We could also play um that uh, gem fighter game, that street fighter game with the chibis. Uh, what was it called? Gem Fighter or something? I forget the name of it. I'm actually doing a lot better than I did last time, wasn't I? Aren't I? I'm at 27,000, 29,000 now. I'm even. I'm actually paying a lot less attention to the game than I was a few minutes ago. You can tell because I'm talking a lot more. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm actually doing doing actively better. Oh great! Now that I've pointed out that I'm doing better, the game of course is fucking me over. Thanks a lot, game. Yeah, thanks. Yes, that's that's really what I wanted right now. Thank you. Anyway, I need to try hard. No, god damn it! Oh my god, this game this game is giving me an aneurysm. Come on. Come on. Story of my life, chat. I fuck up my life by not paying attention to it, and I unfuck it. I try really hard to. I try hard in order to unfuck it. I manage to unfuck it, at least for the time being, and then it's like. Memes, bro! God damn it. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, please. No. God damn it, game. Please, let me... For fuck's sake. Oh my god. Okay, see, now now we're we're in autism levels of... I am not... I am not good enough at Tetris to... Fucking shit. Starting to rage. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Sir. Ah. ah. Fucking... God damn it. Why? My logical processors are starting to fail from the rage that's building up. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! That, that's not what I wanted to do. Come, come on, come on. No! Woo! I can't believe I'm still alive. Why am I still alive, chat? I do not deserve to live this long in this game. I suck at Tetris. Oh, fuck, 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 Come on, come on, come on. Can I, can I fix it? Can I fix it? Can we fix it? Can we fix it? No, it's fucked. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, come on. Yes. No. Game, game, stop. I'm becoming the one, chat. I'm becoming the one. Oh no, it's 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 game over, man. There's no way I can come back from this or is there? <laughs> oh. I got the big smile on my face right now. Pocket fighter, yes, pocket fighters are the one I was talking about. Oh my god, my I'm actually sweating. <laughs> Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo is also one. Seven minutes till chap. We went from 17,000 to 55,000. Modern problems. Modern solutions. Well, we still got... Six minutes, chat. How about we do that uh, very common, the uh, meta strat for gaining followers on Twitch in a very short amount of time, unearned. Yes, that's right. Yes, we are going to do a react vid because that's so, you know, that's like, that's like so in vogue. That's like what every streamer does, right? We're going to switch to just chatting stream really quick. We're just going to do, we're just going to do react vids now. I've changed the name of tonight's stream. It's now we are now naming the stream, ending stream, end stream, end of stream. React vids for clout. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to watch for end of stream. Some preferably something chat that's not going to get me banned uh, from Twitch. Nintendo hacker will be punished for the rest of his life. Good riddance. Total eclipse is happening right now. On uh, today is April twentieth. Four twenty. Blaze it. I can say that now because it's now legalized in my state of residence. 
Game journalist that accidentally beats. Ooh, this looks interesting. Uh, game journalist that accidentally beats MVC two. How do you accidentally beat the MVC two? <laughs> Grateful, great, grapefruit playing puzzle fighter. Uh, who's uh, who's grapefruit playing puzzle fighter? Uh, Street Fighter, Street, uh, Street Fighter movie, the game, Street Fighter movie, the game, Pocket Fighter, wait, Grapefruits. It's time for Puzzle Fighter. Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo. You accidentally pick from Iron Man and do Light Punch, Medium Light Punch. Oh, so it's basically like in Marvel vs. Capcom. I remember reading a guide a long time ago in Game Pro Magazine that the key to beating Marvel vs. Capcom is just to make a team out of uh, Mega Man and uh, War Machine and just constantly spam their specials. Very, very apt. And you're, you're right on the oh yeah, this is definitely the gameplay that we that we live for here. Um, I actually... Oh, is this Puyo Puyo? This is Puyo Puyo, isn't it? But we are... Pocket Fighter, I remember because of these gemstone things. And I remember it being... Really fun to watch, even if I sucked at actually playing the game. But thanks to thanks to something like um, Fight K, we could actually we we could actually play this now. The only problem is I have a hard time playing Fight K because half the time my fight stick doesn't even work on Fight K. This is the game with the Evil Donovan in it that's named D for some reason. I didn't actually know that there was a legit like puzzle fighter game game where you actually play Street Fighter but with chibis. That's actually really cute. That's that's actually kind of cool. Except this appears like you're playing Zangief versus a Hinchko from uh, Dark Soccer. Why is Zangief turning into a monkey? Oh my god. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. Bruh, what, what even is this? Tessa? Who's Tessa? I never heard of this character before. Is Tessa... This is cool. Who is Tessa a Darkstalkers character only or something? Or... This looks like the funnest game. From Red Earth? Is that like an earlier uh, Capcom game, I guess? So I don't recognize Tessa, but I'm willing to bet this game also probably has, uh, what's his face, um... Uh, I forgot the name of him, but he's the character I played in the first Marvel vs. Capcom. Jin. This probably has, uh, Jin, the guy that does the, uh, Cyclo- uh, the, uh, Super Sentai guy, right? That's like Cyclo- something? I should have a night where I just go through 5k and just play random fighting games, honestly. I'll have some VTuber friends over. We'll just uh, play them at random or something. I wonder, has Sakura been announced for the new Street Fighter 6? Okay, so uh, let's see. We got E Honda, we got uh, Talim, Guile, Chun Li, person I don't know, Ryu, <coughs> Kami. Uh, Blanca. Wait, actually, I don't recognize some of these characters at all. I don't recognize a lot of these characters. Who the fuck is Luke, for example? So, Luke is, uh, kind of like, um... I actually don't know who Luke is. Luke's the last character of five, I think. Oh. He kind of looks like a younger version of Ryu, almost. What do you mean, player? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Player's coach? There's a story mode in this game, and you make your own character now? What is this? I actually have not looked too much into Street Fighter Six. I want to keep myself in spoilers. I've mostly been watching stuff like character intros and whatnot. But this is kind of cool. I guess I'll have to make lo I have I'll have to make a version of myself in Street Fighter Six when it comes out. Then, right? You make your own character. Uh, do you? Is it like a? Is it like Soul Calibur Three where you, you get to choose the move set of a character and you make your own character and stuff? Uh, 
Okay, so, uh, Jamie... Oh, hey, oh, it's Jamie. Um, I remember Jamie. I actually don't remember Jamie. At first, I thought he was the other kid, DJ. Um, the one that was basically Ryu except black and had a basketball and stuff. I don't know who Jamie is. He kind of reminds me of Fei Long a little bit. I like his really long, um, I don't know what you call it, the thing where he has a really long braid or whatever. Are those parries? Is he parrying Luke's attacks? Who's Kimberly? I don't know who Kimberly is either. So, uh, let's check out this, uh, move. Whoa, she's a grappler? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck was that? She just did the, uh, the spinning kick thing. Harry's universal. Kimberly's the new T-Hawk. Oh, yes, she, though. Actually, that's kind of cool. I like her moveset. Oh, my fucking lord. This is beautiful. <laughs> Shit. Wow. Jet Set Radio Future is looking sweet. The new Jet Set Radio Future game looks great, guys. <laughs> uh, who's Marissa? Oh, Marissa's the um, it's the other grappler we got going on here. I I don't know any of these characters, so I don't know which character is new to the series and which character is from Street Fighter Five. Like, uh, who the who the? F is this a ballet dancer? Ballet dancing fighting style now? Oh. Ooh. Oh, so she's a judoka. So she's a judo judo wrestler. Who's JP? JP, uh... Bruh. Isn't this Leroy? It is. It's Leroy from Tekken. <laughs> he kind of does give me some Dudley vibes. I don't know who Antonov is, though. Psych- wait, whoa, 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 Psycho powers? Is JP just- is this guy- is this guy supposed to be M. Bison or something? Is he like Old Bison? Or Old Vega or something like that? Lily- I can't get over Lily. Lily looks great. Normally this is a sort of character that I would just immediately pick up and be like, yep, I'm playing the cute girl. But she reminds me too much of Talon, and I love playing Talon. And I'm partially biased because Tom is Filipina, but I also like playing Tom because I just like Tom's playstyle. But I don't know. I'm kind of weirded out by the fact that she's basically a 2D version of Talon. Buff, swell human. I was thinking of Lily. Poga Mogans? That's a fun name to say. Yeah. Like, look at this. Even the way they're describing her sounds like Talon, actually. I mean, Lee, all the wall, even her story is similar. Let's see, Talon, hmm, a priestess of a pagan of a pagan religion that revolves around wind worship, worshiping wind. Gee, where have I heard that f before, chat? Even the way she dresses is kind of similar to traditional uh, Southeast Asian or at least Filipina um, clothing style. Except she's Hispanic. But I guess uh, shamanism or worship of like ele elements like the wind is not exactly a thing that's unique to Hispanic culture or Filipino, Filipino culture. So I shouldn't be too surprised. But I really wonder if this was like a direct inspiration or was this a really odd coincidence. Alright, so my my boy Ryu is back because it's not going to be Street Fighter without Ryu and Ken, I'm sorry to say. They cannot not have Ryu and Ken. Whoa, Guken. So they have Guken here, which is also basically like Ryu and Ken's um, sensei. So they're, he's basically just another, you know. And for some strange reason, Ken is now homeless, or at least looks like a homeless person. So he's got all his typical movesets going on here. Kukul... Kokul Khan Priestess? 
Chun Li, of course, is Chun Li. Guile, him. <laughs> Mr. America is, of course, back. I'm probably going to have to be playing a little bit of Guile since he's a charge character and I've already got so much experience in playing Mei. I might as well try to play the charge character in Street Fighter. Lily is almost a direct T-Hawk, replaces her club with arms. Mm -hmm. T-Hawk was a Native American character too, right? So it kind of makes sense that they would be like, oh, okay, let's uh, make a version of T-Hawk that's, um, that's also Native American-ish except from Mexico. Or at least the bottom of North America. And here's Juri. I know who Juri is. She's the evil version of Ta she's the uh, evil Taekwondo character. It even it's even to the point where, in some games, people point out the fact that she practices Taekwondo except evil. And of course, Blanca is back. Blanca, everyone loves Blanca. Blanca is a crowd favorite. Uh, e Honda, we haven't seen in a while either. Good old sumo wrestle character. DJ is. Back in this game as well. Except he looks a lot more different. He kind of reminds me of um, I, of uh, Eddie Gordo from Tekken now actually. Except obviously he's not practicing Caporia, a Capora, Capora, Capora. How do you pronounce that? I don't I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, she's your wife. You're gonna are you gonna be meaning Lily in uh, Street Fighter Six? Pog. Uh, Zangief is back, of course, and people are actually scared of Zangief now because now he can dash. Dash canceling. DJ looks cool, but I think I'm gonna stick with Jamie. Very fair. Cammy is, of course, is also here. Cammy is back, and is <laughs> that freaking move where she just snaps people's necks. Is that it? I don't know more. I don't know more other characters. How come they didn't talk about Gukin? I mean, he clearly showed Gukin over here when they were going over Ryu. Are there other characters that we don't know about that are that are still gonna be released? Is that is that the reason? I want to play either Sakura or I want I want the Bakoto to come back actually. Apparently, there's some leaked DLC. Really? Who are the leaked DLCs? Uh, who fit, best fits you? At this rate, I'm probably going to have to start with Ryu. Or start with Guile, honestly. I wonder if Tekken 8 is done releasing the... Uh, done doing the character intros as well. Bamco. Have they released any more... Oh, I guess they stopped with Asuka? I can't believe they brought Leroy Smith back though. Leroy was really cool in Tekken 7. But I want... I want to play Josie again. If I can't play Josie again, I, I'm surprised they didn't announce for our rank. Is there no more... Is there no more, uh... Taekwondo in Tekken 8? There better be Taekwondo in Tekken 8. Leroy looks sick as fuck. I don't care if people despise me for picking him, I'll main him. People have not despised Leroy players since he was first released. Because back when he was first released, he was legitimately broken. Like, there's no reason to play any other character besides Leroy. I like to think that the reason why they released him in such a broken save is because Wing Chun is like the meme of the martial arts world. Everyone makes fun of Wing Chun. The only other martial arts that people make fun of more than Wing Chun is probably Tai Chi and Taekwondo. And at least one of these, Tai Chi, is a martial art that's still, pra that's still taught both competitively and also as a gym and martial arts, especially by Korean special forces. But no one, to my knowledge, teaches Wing Chun as a legitimate, like, self-defense martial art. There are probably people that teach Wing Chun, a mix of Wing Chun and um, mixed martial art, combined with mixed martial arts as, like, an actual self-defense thing, or self-defense, self-defense self martial art. It's a good thing I'm I'm just a fighting game VTuber and not a martial arts influencer. Otherwise, you already know that I'm going to be invaded by fan angry fanboys complaining that I don't know anything and challenging me to actual fights to show them the power of their Wing Chun. But so that's also a common thing in the martial arts communities, online and offline. 
I can't wait for Tekken 8 though. There's so many good fighting games coming out. Maybe I'll just play Law before I ring this and come back. Gotta play, gotta, gotta play Bruce Lee. Gotta play the Bruce Lee character. But I digress. Chat, it is now way past our usual stream end. We are going to go ahead and call it an evening. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching the uh, watching me finally beat the missing link. We are going to find someone to raid tonight. If you have any choices, if any uh, suggestions, feel free to drop them in chat. Otherwise, I will choose from my many, many possibles here. I have not raided Maxwell in a long time, who's currently playing Hassel, for example. You want to learn whatever Jury uses? Jury, unironically, practices Taekwondo. Like, it's straight up, I think either Street Fighter 5 or 4. There's another character who, when you face against Jury, what comes out of their mouth is, it's like you're practicing Taekwondo, except more evil. And, I mean, the host learned Taekwondo when they were a kid. Uh, they weren't very good at it, but it's Taekwondo has a lot of bad reputation in the fighting martial arts world for being useless. But it's one of those martial arts that if you are actually are good at Taekwondo, you are a certain, you can be a threat to people. Um, I think we have some mutual friends who I don't want to dox who practice Taekwondo on a professional level, on an Olympic professional level, who are fairly good at it. If the host ever got back into martial arts, I think they want to get back into learning boxing, which they learned in, which they learned in university. Boxing is fun, but um, I don't know what they would learn as a modern martial art. Probably Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu if they had the stones for it, but they probably do not anymore. But who knows? It's been a while. <laughs> All right, chat. We're gonna be reading a good fighting game VTuber and professional, literal professional wrestler in the real world, as well as in the VTuber world. A Maxwell Flyweight. Thank you once again for coming tonight. We will reconvene once again on Friday for the first ever live show in a while, where we're going to be hosting the pilot of Femboys and Fight Sticks. We're gonna be talking about the show where we talk about Fight Sticks and Femboys. Hope you all have a great rest of your evening and enjoy the ASMR of Maxwell Flyweight as they play some house flipper. And have a good night. Bye bye bye. Do, do, do. Transition. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, before y'all go. Here is tonight's raid message. And have a good evening.